Good morning, my name is Fernanda Silva. I am a tutor for Parkland Middle School. And for this video today, I'm going to go ahead and explain what photorespiration is, as well as how it works and the process it goes under. I am going to also include the different types of plants that are involved with photorespiration, such as C3, C4, and CAM plants. And I'm going to discuss what uh, specific those plants are, as well as how they work and how photorespiration involves uh, those kind of plants. Okay, so for the first part, I went ahead and provided a picture of the process of photorespiration. And in the picture, you can see how it cycles through the chloroplast and how the O2 and the CO2 enter the chloroplast, chloroplast, as well as how the O2 is processed through the rubisco to turn it into the glucose, which is the food for the plants. So for the first word, I went ahead and provided a picture and a definition of it, and it's gonna be photorespiration, which is a wasteful pathway that occurs when the Calvin cycle enzyme rubisco, which is the enzyme in the middle, acts on oxygen rather than carbon dioxide. So on the picture, it is shown that on the right side, it's going photorespiration because it took O2, and on the right, it's CO2, so it's photosynthesis. So now this picture is showing the inside of a C3 uh, plant, which is the majority of plants that have no special features to combat photorespiration. So in this plant, both the CO2 and the O2 are able to enter the Calvin cycle, which leads to the clog of the leaf pores, which leads to photorespiration. Next, we have the C4 plants, and these plants uh, minimize photorespiration by separating the initial carbon dioxide fixation and the Calvin cycle in space. Performing these steps in different cell types, the mesophyll cell is on the top and the bundle sheath cell is on the bottom and it shows the process where it separates the CO2 in the mesophyll cell. Next, we have the CAM plant, which stands for Crassulacean Acid Metabolism. And these plants minimize photorespiration and save water by separating the steps in time meaning it does it between the night and day. So in the picture on the left, the night is on the top where it's separating the CO2 and the day is on the bottom where it undergoes the Calvin cycle. So finally, the Calvin cycle is a process in which a plant turns the carbon dioxide emission into sugar, which is used for food and energy and in the picture right here, it's showing you that the three molecules of CO2 go into the, into the plant, through, process through the rubisco, and it generates the process, creates the food, and it just repeats the process again. So how it all works together is photorespiration affects the amount produced by certain crops when the enzyme rubisco begins grabbing the O2 instead of carbon dioxide. This will lead to the waste of plant energy. In this case, the plants that contain C4 and CAM help to reduce the photorespiration by keeping the rubisco enzyme around high concentrations of O2 so that it is unlikely for it to come across CO2. 85% of plants are C3 plants that do not contain photosynthetic adaptations being the C4 and CAM. C4 plants are more common in hot areas and contain a cell that will filter the CO2 into the cell in order for the O2 to not enter the plant. CAM plants work in the nights in order to ensure the entrance of CO2 and not the O2. With this, it contains a lot of CO2 around the plant that is used to make the plant's food. Okay, so now to finalize everything I just went over, C3 plants are the majority of the plants that we have seen and they have no separation and this leads to O2 sometimes going into their leaf pores, which leads into photorespiration. C4 plants are more common in hot environments and include a second cell called the mesophyll cell that separates the carbon dioxide and provides it to the plant in order for it to produce its food through the Calvin cycle. Now the CAM plants are found in very hot and dry environments and they're plants such as the cacti or the succulents 
and they do their separation at night. This helps them provide plenty of CO2 into the plant and it's again for them to produce their own food uh, through the Calvin cycle. And that is my presentation on photorespiration, C3 plants, C4 and C8. Thank you.